YouTubers, Pastor Bob NCC. Hey, we've been doing videos uh, over the last few weeks on various curses. We've been talking about curses and how to bring a curse on yourself and how to get rid of a curse that's on you. Well, I found another one in Numbers the other day that I just, I mean, I read this thing and I just went, I've read it before, but every time I read it, it just absolutely blows my mind. And uh, it's called the Bitter Water Curse. And this is what it's all about. It's all about when a woman, when a woman's husband thinks she's been unfaithful. When a man thinks his wife has been unfaithful. And what he does, he brings her to the priest. Now the priest takes holy water and he mixes it with the dust on the floor of the tabernacle. And he mixes it all up. And then the woman, he brings the woman in and he says, listen, here's this water and you're going to drink it. And I'm going to ask you if you have been unfaithful to your husband. And if you answer no, and you're telling the truth, fine. But if you're lying, and you drink this stuff, this is what it says. Then the priest shall charge the woman with an oath of cursing. And by the way, this is Numbers 521. The priest shall charge the woman with an oath of cursing, and the priest shall say unto the woman, The Lord make thee a curse and an oath among thy people, when the Lord does make thy thigh to rot and thy belly to swell. And this water that causes the curse shall go into thy bowels and make thy belly swell and thy thigh to rot. And the woman shall say, Amen. So people, this is what's going to happen. If she says, oh no, I haven't been unfaithful, and she drinks this curse, when it says it's going to make her thigh to rot, that means all her reproductive organs are literally going to just rot and just fall right out. I mean, that would have to be one of the most horrendous deaths that you could ever think of. Her belly swells, all of her reproductive organs just rot, and I mean, she is going to die the most horrendous death you could ever imagine. People, listen, I read this, I read this curse, and I say, uh-uh, it -uh, ain't happening to me. Nope. If I was brought before, and if I was guilty, if I was guilty and I was brought before the priest, I'd say to the priest and my husband, I'd say, listen, I'm guilty. You go ahead and stone me right now. I don't care. You can stone me. I'm not drinking that, that water of a curse. You know, there's some things worse than stoning and dying that kind of death where your energy just rot out and fall out. I'm not dying that death. So anyway, check that out. <laughs> it's, it's horrible. I mean, this curse is just horrible. People, listen, curses are real. Curses are real. And one thing you got to know, one thing you have to know, you have to watch your speech. You have to watch your speech. Because I honestly do not believe that fallen angels and the demons running around this planet, they cannot read your mind. They cannot read your mind. They can inject thoughts into your mind. They can speak to you. But they can't read your mind. And the things that you fear, the things that you say, everything that comes out of your mouth, they can use against you. You have to know that words are powerful. You're giving them ammunition that they otherwise wouldn't have. You need to remember that. Anyway... Go read this curse. And you know what it says after this curse? Listen to this. This is funny. After that, after he says, look, if you're guilty, everything between your thighs is going to rot out and fall out and your belly is going to swell. But if you're not guilty, you're going to go ahead and get pregnant and have more kids. <laughs> I would take a stoning before I drank that. Anyway, I just, I just thought that was just, just amazing that, that that curse is in there. Anyway, listen. Watch what you say. Don't give Satan and his horde any ammunition against you to use against you. Heaven or hell, are you saved? Are you saved? If not, you need to be. If not, you need to be. Because if you're not saved, you're in for the worst curse you could ever imagine. The curse of being separated from God for all of eternity. To wind up in hell, great white throne judgment, and then a lake of fire. You don't want no part of that. Separation from God is the worst curse that could ever come upon a human being, and it's eternal. You choose heaven or hell. Just remember, once you take your last breath, it's a done deal.